Now we are proceeding to our Kali Linux operating system practicals. First of all, we will go through our information gathering part. As you can see here that there are 14 the topics in Kali Linux and in 14 topics there are different different type of tools available in our database of Kali Linux. Now we are proceeding to our first chapter which is information gathering through internet or some dark web on internet. In information gathering part I have my favorite software which is Racon NG and in this chap in this module we are starting with Racon NG software. If you don't know what is Racon NG, Racon NG is used to find out the information as much as possible of a target from internet. So let's find out the information regarding Racon NG. Click on Applications, go to information gathering part and type, click on Recon NG. As you can see, that Recon NG is like Metasploit, it also contains modules and uh, we are doing a practical, a very small practical, but it's very useful for you. So let's type keys add that you have to type a keys then add the name and the value of the key so keys space add flicker as you can see it has been added of flicker api now we are proceeding to our workspaces space list now you can see that there is a workspace. Workspace means a project, and in project there are three types of sub projects available, like default, target, and Kali.org is available in my database. Now workspaces move. Let's go here and delete it. And Kali.org has been deleted from workspaces. So let's type show or workspaces space list. Now you can see here that Kali.org has been deleted. So now add Kali.org works spaces space at kali.org kali.org has been added into workspaces workspace is like a project right so workspaces space list now you can see that kali.org has been added to our workspaces let's type show domains there is no data available for domains now type help in help you can see that you can add back delete exit record reload shell there are so many commands that are available for workspaces now let's type show if you type show you can show any type of command available in our database of workspaces like companies banners domains hosts keys and all if you type show keys it will show you some different different type of keys available in our database right and now we are proceeding to our main work which is type modules now it is not found we have to just type 
modules here. Show domains. Now we have to load netcraft here. Netcraft is used to find the information regarding the target. So that's why I have loaded netcraft in my exploit area. Now type show options. There are options available for netcraft like what is the name, what is the current value, what is the description. So I don't have any source or I don't have any target. So I have first of all, uh, I have to add a target. So let's set source to kali.org I have added my source to kali.org that I want to find information about kali.org website now show options now you can see that kali.org has been added here previously it was default but we have added to it to Kali.org show domains and type run. Now you can see that Netcraft is searching the subdomains and domains available for Kali.org on internet and will give you a list of subdomains related to netcraft and you can see on screen that we have found almost 36 hosts right and means 36 subdomains are available in my netcraft database for kali linux website kali at org website like here you can see these are the domains these are all our domains as how can we find that these are domains or these are subdomains that kali.org is in the end of every website as you here or here or here so kali.org is available in each and every website available in the database right now we are we have found the result and we want to put it into a table so type show hosts and here we go here you can see we have 36 entries and they have been put into a table systematically right and in those table it is a host then ip address region country latitude longitude module etc now we want to find some other table entries also that we have found the first one column host but we don't have the other entries available so let's find out the other entries in our database you have to type load resolve as you can see that if i type load resolve it gives me three results here you can see the three results in which you have to use one of them so i know as i have used them so I'm, I'm using the first one you can use all of three of them to gather results so type use space and copy this one copy and paste enter and you are inside resolve module now we are show options current values default and type run now you can see that each and every mod each and every host in the table has been put or has been assigned an IP address. These IP addresses related to this website. Right?
So that's how we can find the IP address of any website by using the resolve module. Now, if you want to put it into a table, you have to type show hosts enter and you can see that the IP address has been put into the IP address column. All have been filled with IP address. Right. Now I want to find the address or the longitude latitude of the any website. I want to find the directions of website. So I'm typing load free geo IP show options. Source is default. Yes, it should be default. You don't you don't have to put the Kali.org here, but default is like it is using the previous table or previous model. And type run. Now you can see that it will show you the proper address or proper location of particular IP address and latitude longitude also available here. Now you can see that it is Canada, United States, Canada, etc. These are the address of particular IP address. Show options. I'm sorry. Uh, you have to type show hosts. Now you can see that my table has been filled. That uh, the geo IP module has provided me the region the country of particular IP address, the latitude, longitude, and the module we are using. Right. Now I want to find the address of particular IP. Now we know the country name and the region, but we don't know the street address. So I want to find the street address of a particular IP address. So let's find out. show locations there is no data available that's why i have to add location okay just type add locations now that's right now i have to put the latitude so i'm putting a latitude so let's put this one copy paste enter and the longitude paste enter i don't know the street address let's enter it show I have added now I have to load the reverse underscore geo code module reverse geo code has been added now show options it is in default and type run Yes, now you can find that it, it has been Geocode has reversed the like language longitude latitude and it has the location of exact IP address is this that it is in Canada, it is in Montreal, it is the Rodic gates. This is the street address of the particular IP address or particular along with this one. This is the street address of this server. This is Roddick Gates, Montreal, Canada. So now, uh, now you can see that Recon NG is really good tool to find the street address and the exit address of a particular IP address or of a website.
so you can see that how recon ng can be used to find out the region country latitude longitude ip address and hosts of a particular website now you can see that recon ng is a really good tool to find out these type of ip addresses available here Now, if you want to find some other websites, let's find out one more time. Go to applications, go to information gathering, and type rec on ng. You are here. I'm finding for some other website. So, workspaces list. I want to add one more so workspaces space at yahoo.com yahoo.com has been added now I'm loading net load net craft show options set source to yahoo.com And run now you can see that it has been de detected the yahoo.com subdomains just find out so many subdomains of yahoo.com that these are very big companies so these companies have so many subdomains available in their database so that's how you can see that how Raycon NG works for you. You cannot find out these type of subdomains from internet. But if you're using Raycon NG, then you can find out all types of subdomains available for yahoo.com. You can see that there are, there are thousands of subdomains available for the yahoo.com. let's cancel it and uh, type show hosts you can see here now if i want to, if you want to find out the ip address the, it is really simple load resolve use the first one copy and paste enter then show options run now you can see the IP addresses of all yahoo.com subdomains available in our database So that's how you can find out show hosts as you can see it has been filled and uh, now it's your task to find out the street address and uh, the latitude longitude of these all subdomains available of yahoo.com it's up to you you have to find out these it's your task guys so that's how you can see that how you can find out the ip addresses locations and subdomains of a particular ip using recon engine so this is all about the Racon NG software available in Kali Linux to gather information about a particular website or IP address. I hope you have enjoyed the video. In some next videos, we will find some mind-boggling practicals of Kali Linux. So thank you so much and see you in the next video. In previous module, we have learned how you can use the tools to gather information about a target organization that is also called a footprinting or information gathering part now we are proceeding to our next tool which is net discover let's click on it
this is the net discover and you can see these all are the options related to the net discover command dash r is for range of a scan of a uh, ip address or range of ip address so dash l is to file scan the list of ranges p is for passive scan f for filter as for time count ignore enable sleep etc so let's try it two or three examples so suppose i want to find one of my ip addresses this one okay clear net discover space dash h net discover it will tell you the ip address as well as the mac address about a particular ip 192.168.211.0 slash 24 enter yes yes as you can see that it is telling me the ip address related to that range and these are the ip addresses right and these these two are the mac addresses of this particular ip these are the mac vendors that I, as i am running these are now my vmware so that's why it is telling me so let's control c let's find out what you can see in passive mode Common land targets and discover. It is searching in the passive mode. Just type net discover space dash p. It will search the unique host available. So it's a very simple command to find out. C slash twenty is for whole range of IP addresses. So as you can see, that's how you can find out the IP addresses related to your network. So that's how it is a really small tool, but it will tell you the IP addresses related to your network. So that's all about the net discover command that discover is used to find out the IP addresses related to your range. If you can see here that it is used to find these two commands are important commands for net discover and that's how you can find out the range of ip addresses in your network so thank you so much guys and see you in the next video thank you in previous module we have seen our first software or tool which is rack on ng and we have find out the information regarding a domain which is kali.org we have found out the subdomains the location the street address of a particular ip address <clears throat> in this module we will learn how you can gather some more information regarding telemetry tool available in kali linux operating system if you don't know i will tell you that dimitri is used to gather information about a target ip address or organization and you can see that these are the tools available here or commands available for dimitri if you find out the output you can save it to a file dash i will tell you the who is of ip address dash w will tell you the domain name of ip address dash n will tell you the netcraft 
information dash s will tell you the subdomains e for email addresses tcb ports and all this is the screenshot i have taken when i have to telemetry right so let's do the practical now navigate to your applications click on information gathering and click on the demo tray now you can see that these all options are here to find out and gather information about a target so let's find out information about kali.org as we have taken it in the recurrent module so just type demetri space dash i space the ip address of a host but if we don't know ip address so type dash let's find out the ip address of kali.org ping kali.org yes we have found out the kali.org ip address so let's do it copy this one clear dimitri dash h right so first command is dimitri space dash i space the particular ip address paste it here and enter now let's see what is the result so as you can see that dimitri's deep magic information gathering tool and the slogan is there is some deep magic going on this is the host ip address this is the host name so these are the remarks available that they are saying it it is in different different continents africa asia pacific northern america latin america etc and we have seen in dicon ng that the kali linux kali.org servers are everywhere in the world right so as you can see that it has it has told me that there are so many servers available in the in the world so let's try a second command that dimitri dash w that if i know the domain name let's type kali dot o r g enter sorry i have i didn't put o g in yes it is finding let's find out that what dimitri has told us here the domain name is kali.org this is the registrar url this is the update date this is the creation date expiry date and as you can see that it is in the us the postal code the state street address are also available when dimitri is searching these are the registrant email address street po box number postal code country phone numbers are also available oh that's great in it is inside us and all let's try netcraft and dimitri so type dash n netcraft is not resolving anything so let's do one more thing possible subdomains use dash s so let's use dash s
yes it is find out in google and hasta la vista dash e dash p are so let's go there geometry dash p kali dot org it is finding some information regarding tcp port information it is trying maybe it will take some time but it will tell you something useful about the tcp port information about the website so as you can see that it is detecting the ports related to a website it is saying it is filtered 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 it will show all type of ports available in a particular website so that's how you can detect that how dimitri is useful to gather so much bunch of information about a website this is a really important tool to find out information about target website it also uses port scanning in its method and as you can see that 21 22 is open 25 is open filtered means it is confused but open means it can surely tell you that it is open this port is open so that's how you can find out that how you can find port number of a particular web server so that's why dimitri is really useful to find out the bunch of information available you just have to type dimitri dash h to find out the options available for dimitri you can use one by one to find out the information regarding any web server or any website available in, on internet so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, hope you have enjoyed it and you will see some more exciting practicals in some next chapters thank you so much now we are proceeding to our next tool which is sparta vulnerability scanner which is used to gather information from internet about a particular IP address. We can also scan this particular IP address on Sparta vulnerability scanner. So as you can see in the first, click on information gathering tools in Kali Linux and navigate to Sparta vulnerability scanner. Second, click on the add host. The add host is a button there in Sparta and then you have to type the your target ip address there and then click on add to scope and it will start and map port discovery to find out open and filtered ports available in and map so this is the screenshot of sparta in kali linux So that's how you can find out the open ports available in the particular IP address and you can scan the whole IP address available in the database. So let's do a practical on Sparta. Let's navigate to your application click on information gathering and click on sparta
it is now creating temporary files for sparta now this is a, the sparta it, it is the beta version of sparta and in which you can find the services and ports running on a particular target system so let's find out let's minimize it and open one more window now i ping kali dot org this is the ip address of kali dot org right now go to your sparta and click on click here to type ip address of particular domain let's go here copy the particular IP address and go to Sparta paste it run nmap host discovery yes I want to run nmap to find open ports in my nmap open nmap staged nmap scan yes I want to run staged nmap scan also click on add to scope now you can see here that Sparta has started its discovery of the particular IP address and it is in progress. As you can see in the navigator there are the, some tabs available like scripts, information, information you can see the states open ports now you can see that it is using inside the nicto operating nicto tool and if i drag this so you can see that 443 and 80 are available 80 is available if i click on services 80 and 443 ports are open in kali linux or kali.org website it is running on protocol tcp and udp state is open if i click on information that it is using ipv4 two ports are open in sparta and it is searching one by one if you click on nicto that this is the target ip address this is the host name the target port is 80 the start time is this it is running on server cloud proxy as you can see here on the that it is in ping that it is we can confirm that cloud proxy is running and sparta is also tell you that they are using on cloud proxy 443 is for https they are using ssl secure socket layer And you can see this is the screenshot of the website firewall cloud proxy. And two ports are open, which is fine, which is fine. 18 and 443 should be open because without them, the website will down or website will crash. So 18 and 443 is necessary for a website to work with the internal and external environment and as you can see here that they are using nicto nicto is a vulnerability scanner which is used to find vulnerability in a particular website so they are you can see nicto is using screen shooter is this and nicto has find out the open ports available in the particular the website and if you right click on this port scan there are so many types of scans are available like if you want to do full udp click here it will search the full udp scan here right so this is all about the sparta sparta is used to find 
the open codes available in the particular website and it is also used to find the vulnerability in a particular website the web server name is also available here so this is a complete tool for a website vulnerability scanner so i hope you have learned about what is part and how you can use it to find the information regarding a website so thank you so much guys and uh, see you in the next video thank you